in this lesson, I just want to just say a few parting words and maybe outline some of the key takeaways that you should be taking from this course. So yeah, ChatGPT, all in all, as you can see, is a very powerful tool when it comes to learning how to code, just advancing in your coding journey, with that, whether that be learning more about algorithms, helping you understand why your code's incorrect, and maybe even helping you debug and finding out what's wrong with it, helping you be more mindful about the code that you're writing and helping you to generate documentation to gain a better understanding of the code that you've written, and also just be able to help eliminate the monotony of certain tasks like writing boilerplate code or setting things up. So it can be a great alternative to Google, which software engineers already use all the time to go ahead and read documentation about code so they can integrate other people's code into their own code. And yeah, so we can see that it's great in all these ways, but it's very important to keep in mind that it does have its limitations here, right? Um, it is capable of generating incorrect information as we had earlier established. So, I mean, one thing you're probably thinking at this point is, well, that's great, I can use ChatGPT to learn about coding, but if it can do all this great stuff, isn't it just gonna take all of our jobs? So maybe just as a way to end this all off is let's, let's ask for its opinion, or not opinion, but what does it have to say about that? Um, how many jobs are you taking away by existing? This is a pretty interesting question to ask. But as an AI language model, I don't have physical presence, and I don't perform tasks that human workers do. So it's saying, it's claiming that it's not taking away any jobs, but how many programming jobs are, will you displace? I think that's a good word. Um, and it says, it doesn't have the ability to displace programming. Okay, that's, that's very interesting. But yeah, I, I do agree with that actually. So um, they're, they're, at the end of the day, there's only so much this thing can do in terms of generating code. A lot of the code that it, it is very good at generating is well-established algorithms or even code snippets that already exist online. So not to sort of say those resources are bad because those are definitely helpful and can be reused. That's, that's, that's a very core principle in computer science is that we always wanna reuse code, right? Like why write code that already exists? and if it's better, right? So it's something we all kind of work towards. That's kind of why open source exists as well, right? Because we all want to pull our efforts in to something that's great and like why rewrite stuff, right? Like that's that's a pretty core, core tenet of um, software engineering and computer science. So while AI and automation may change the nature of programming work, they're unlikely to displace jobs entirely. So yeah, rest assured, um, this is a great opportunity. We should view it with its flaws, we should be aware that it has the capacity to make mistakes and report information that's incorrect. Obviously not its fault, but just something we should keep in mind so we can coexist with this technology healthily. Hopefully you've learned some new interesting ways to utilize ChatGPT for coding, whether that be learning or sort of growing to become a better programmer. This is a great tool and I think it's really gonna change the way that we sort of go about coding and how we may even find future discoveries in the field of computer science. So thanks for coming with me on this journey and hope you enjoy it.